Hello everybody, I'm Noby Sweet and this is Volcanoid's uh, survival steampunk game. Um, it's an indie game and this is now a pre-release alpha version of the game. And you can find more about the game on Steam because they have just released it onto Steam so you can at least go and start following the game there. And I was so lucky that I got a key from the developers so I can uh, show it off and also help them find bugs and everything else and give advice or uh, suggestions of what we want more with the game. I have been playing this before uh, but uh, this is a complete new version of the game so the old one that I played. Well a lot of the features from it is still in here but you're gonna see it's a much more complete game now and it's actually much much more fun to play because so much more happening ah hello Joel Kubinski welcome to the chat and it's yeah it looks absolutely amazing and I'm playing this on a very high uh, graphic settings but of course the stream will of course reduce the quality a little bit. So here we are and we have a new starting area. So we have also new quests so that we can so we get a little idea on what we should do. And we have actually come to this island that is plagued with constant volcanic eruptions and our goal is to stop those. So we came here in this submarine, a very steampunky little submarine, and now it's time to go out, harvest some basic resources so that we can build our own little drill ship. Hey, hey, we wear pants. Hi, Pang. Welcome to oh, the stream and the chat. I think this is definitely a game for you if you haven't tried it before. Uh, awesome little steampunk indie survival game. So I'm just gonna go around here and collect a little copper ore. Uh, if you're gonna play the game, I would recommend to go and actually harvest a little more than the 20 copper ores that are suggested here in the starting quest. Hello, Hab. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I have, I have done that sometimes, Joel. Well, I, I'm not sure if it was faster or not, but I will definitely do it the next time. So, do we have like 60 copper now? I think we can go for one more and then do some coal. Yeah, you two are definitely some fast runners in this game, I think. I know Hab has finished the game in less than two hours. And to be honest, uh, I haven't finished the previous version of the game, so I am hoping that we can do this. Uh, perhaps not in one stream, because yeah, it's late, I'm tired, so... But we can definitely try. And we're gonna have a lot of fun doing this. So yeah, and all new features are really not here, but we will soon see them. So this has turned in from quite a nice friendly little game where wow, one hour fifteen minutes that is really fast. I think the first time I played the game, I hadn't leave, left uh, zone 1 in that time. So the game is divided up into three zones. And to reach the next zone, we have to uh, make our drill ship better. And to do that, we have to collect, of course, lots of resources and some research. Yeah, we can do like this. We're gonna return to the sub. Whoa! I can get stuck from in certain places. So, 
here is the really cool thing. So we have a lot of these storage modules. We have here a storage module. If we activate it, wow, 56 minutes. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. So now we have activated this, which means that it's open and we can use it. So we can go into menu and place everything that we collected in here, like so. And then we can go and up the refinery and we can go here and start to produce ingots. And it also wants us to deploy the power. The power is up in the roof here. Yeah, it has gone from quite a uh, chilling, relaxing game to something that is really hard. You can see down there in my hotbar down below that we have a wrench on one, a pickaxe on two, and now we have a nice steampunk shotgun on three and a medkit on four. So we should deploy production as well and then we should go and make a core so now we have enemies roaming around the countryside and I must say they are not easy to deal with sometimes so what does it want us to do yeah, it wants us to close everything to save energy thank you I'm just skipping this because we can go and talk about those later. But I want this cog, we want this one. Oh man, that was a lot of copper. Yeah, now we have quests for claim the drill ship. And we can wait here. We're gonna get a little video. And we can see the drill ship coming up from the ground. So, this is gonna be our home. And in the previous versions, we started with a very fine looking one, brand new, nothing damaged on it. But now we can see it has a lot of wear and tear. So it wants us to go over there. Let's uh, start these up again. And actually do a little... Uh, yeah, I know, it's like the Thunderbirds, it's coming up from the ground, it's so, so amazing. And it gets even better when we come up to it. I'm just gonna make some material here so that I don't have to run so much between the sub and the drill ship. Yeah, I know. What are you missing items? Didn't I make a lot of copper tubes? No. Of course, because I took everything out. Hello, Thomas. Why aren't these things working? No? Is it on the drill ship? I mean, yeah, I don't follow you. You will possibly very good advice, but I don't understand it. Now we took everything out. Do we have everything that we need? Probably not. Uh, we need a production and we need a refinery. Yeah, and we can see up here we have a timer before the next eruption comes, and then that happens. We really need to be in a safe spot. Okay, let's leave those. Actually, let's do it like that. And now we run for it. And I always go over the wrong way here. So let's try the tip. Jump. Yeah, water is definitely bad for you. I have actually managed to drown in this game. Possibly because we are wearing some uh, really heavy, large uh, 
brass armor or something so we can't really swim so now we can hear the alarm going off so we should definitely try to get into this Yeah, come on. Oh, we didn't have enough. Where is the torch? Nope. Yeah, we have the storage. Put this in here, those in here. Oh, that's a good advice. So just keep jumping. And we're in the water. And now we're too slow. Let's take this one. One over here, here, and here. And we should probably fix this one and this one. And now we should possibly be safe. Let's see what more do we want. Okay, we don't have any copper plates. Oh, we're out of ingots. Possibly out of uh, energy. But let's be safe and let's go down. Oh, yep. Yeah. We have to do this. Now we can go down. Uh, just to keep you on your nerves. I mean, look. I had almost like a second to go. Let's see, the periscope is up here. So now we can actually see. Yeah. It's just a lot of dust. Woo. I mean, this is cool that we can look around now. In the previous version, it was just fixed, so we can look uh, out on this little town here. And now we can go and see what more we should do. We should go up. And we can cut that scene. So what is the issue? Yeah, we have no energy. Yeah, no, everything to keep a little s tension in the stream. I mean, I had like almost half a second to spare or something like that, I mean. So now we should repair this one. Yeah, we don't have any any energy here. Uh, look, we have actually managed to lock ourselves in. So I still have to go back to... Yeah, thank you for stopping by, Joel. Lots of good advice. I'm gonna practice those and um, uh, try to make it really fast. Why ain't you going down? Uh, speed run sometime. But not today. Because now I have to run back. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you in the Discord chat sometimes and see what is the best way to do this. And also, I'm gonna go watch some of your videos, have. Especially if you have one that you didn't. Now, did you record the one that you did it uh, in less than an hour, even if it's an old version? Ooh, down. No, not the walk table. Oh, yeah. Why? Do I don't have any energy here? No, we have. No material. We have a lot of things. But not the components. Ah, awesome. I'm gonna go check that out. Tab. I 
But I know there are a lot of small tricks that uh, you can do if you want to make it a really, really fast run. I'm just quite happy just going around, exploring, having fun and enjoying the scenery. Because the game looks so nice. It's quite fun to run around. Even if it has got a little harder nowadays. With all the cogs running around. And they seem to swarm me and um, shoot me from very far away. I don't like that. Let's make a door module so we can actually get in and out of the drill ship. Then we should pick it up. Also like to make a copper door. Oh man, that takes like forever. So let's take these things. Are you coming online soon? Thank you. Now we can run back. So go into the water, jumpy jumpy jump. Yeah, as we can see the whole area was filled, or I think the entire island was filled with ashes right after the eruption, but now it's going away, so it's getting cleaner and cleaner, looking nicer and nicer. But I must uh, say, the trees in this world, they are really, really sturdy, because they survived that blast. Yeah, I actually can't put the door there. Because I don't think I can come out. Yeah, I got stuck here in a previous version, actually, placing the door there. And of course I forgot about that. So let's talk. We should now build a power plant and a storage module. It also wants us to go to just make sure that we build one. And here we have the power. If you open that up, we are should be getting a lot of energy. Oh I placed the refinery over here. That is not where I sh should place it. Ah, of course we need plate. Uh, now we should have it, I think. Yeah. Let's make one of those. And I know in many survival games, it's um, the golden rule is to craft while you are moving. Uh, in this game you really can't do that. I should also make one of these uh, while we are talking. Uh, because uh, the drill ship uh, can't actually make things while it's moving because all these modules are closed so uh, you can't uh, use them. Uh, and you can't uh, craft things in your hands. The only way you, you can craft manually is to use the work table. But you can go up there and uh, do some work when we are moving. So now the game wants us to go to target 2. We can go elevator, well, we can go on surface and we can travel. So let the drill ship pack up and then go away and we can cut the scene. So now I can go up here and start producing something if I have anything on me. Yeah. Let's just make a few plates and bolts and tubes because you are always gonna need them. Uh, see from Thomas you can build multiple control stations to do more items at the same time or add more modules for production to improve the production time yeah uh, I know I did that in the uh, earlier versions I'm not very good at using multiple things and I had some real issues uh, trying to get uh, oh, what's it called Is it states? I think this is something here has changed, right? Yeah, one of these. 
that's a drill. Ah, this one, the state selector. So we can uh, kind of program the drill ship to open and close uh, these modules in a certain way. Uh, storage over here. We have those things. Oh, I am shaky shaking. Let's put another power up here and then it wants us to place another those. And now it also wants us to go and this Whoa! Look at this! Enemy! Whoa! That was laggy for me. So the we now see the cogs and the enemies are swarming the area so now we just can't walk around and having a peaceful time we actually have to kill things so uh, walking the countryside has gotten a lot more exciting so it's getting harder to just play it safe because they can definitely kill you if you are not on your toes it's gonna get me some more coal and then we're gonna go and into the volcano go and do some volcano spelunking that's always funny oh come on he doesn't like to run up hills so uh, 10 and travel Let's see. And now everything is closing down, so now we can't do much. We can reorganize our inventory a little bit. Yeah, see you. Bang. Oh, nice of you to stop by. Yeah. Two shells in the shotgun. Uh, let's wait. I also like these new features where we can see how far we go with this light. I don't think it was in the previous version that I played. And a shotgun. Yeah, that looks quite nice. A lot of brass, a little wood. Okay, let's keep the cutscene. Uh, 40 shotgun ammo bug. Yep. I didn't really notice that, but it's possibly. Is it because it doesn't go under 40 or it just goes to 40 and then stays there for like forever? Ah, so they should. Yeah. I think the first one I get is stacked in like 50 or something like that. But if I make more shells myself, then they stack in 20s. So the bug seems to be the first uh, shells that you actually get. Oh, and here we have some sulfur ore. Let's grab those. Yeah, I know I can disable them. Sometimes it's quite nice to watch them. And actually see the drill ship moving around. So up here is the enemy drill ship that has came and started a whole volcano activity. So and we can see some cogs moving around. Well, something is shooting at me.
Whoops, I'm dead. Whoop, so this is what can happen now. And if you don't save, you are kinda screwed. So saving is something good that I never do. So, I mean, why? I never think I'm gonna die, so. But let's uh, load up this game. So we're gonna move from this area. You saw I went in, we deactivated the drill ship. And, um, whoa, this seems buggy. So, here we have uh, another game that I am playing. Yes, we, we have skipped the war. Had uh, like, I don't know, like maybe 10 minutes of gameplay. So we can see we have all the things here, but we, I have also uh, added a whole new section to my drill ship. So now we have an even more uh, place to build in. So let's see some uh, advice here. Just play around the rocks a little more. Also, be the whoop! Something is shooting at me. Man, they are really good at shooting. Uh, if you want the cogs chasing you around, yep. I think the cogs are excellent marksmen. That is a big issue for me. I don't have an opening from over there. I mean, they seem to do a lot of damage to me, even from a very long range. And my shotgun seems to do no damage at all, unless I am really close to them. But I that can also of course be me being very bad at shooting. I am not a very good FPS player, so I mean, that is definitely valid. So where do we have them? Equipment, no. I always forget things. Okay, we are close to module repair, breach. We don't have anything. We don't have any copper. What? Is it that bad? Now we have a lot of ingots, so... Let's uh, create some things here. Yeah, but I never seem to be able to hit them from a long distance, so... I don't know how far I can actually kill them from. I don't think I've ever been able to kill them from any distance more than up face. Oh, those were slow. So I'm just creating a little thing here while we try to get our bearings back. Uh, dying, always, always bad. Something seems to be leaking as well. Mm, do we have... Uh, where is my storage? Over here. Do we have anything fun here? Well... Yeah, like... Ton of sulfur in this one. And nothing really funny in this one. We have some repair kits. Ah, oh, that would be excellent to have. The cogs are really, really making my life hard. So I'm definitely gonna go watch that. Oh, nice. I 
And yeah, if I can, I would definitely go and watch that. But if a small kid in the house, it's hard to find time to do things. And now we can see here, we can actually run in this middle section, that is the crawling phase, back into this area. So now we have more place to set up our modules and we can build internally in the ship. We can make walls and uh, the floors and doorways and a lot of cool things in here. So we can actually design the drill ship very much as we want to. Uh, it wants us to deploy power modes. We have to wait until we come up. And I like this feature a lot. We can actually feel that the drill ship is going up. That is like one of the uh, most liked features of the game so far. That you can actually feel and see that we are moving up or down with when we are in the drill ship. So production module tier 2. Can I make those? Yes, we can. So let's make one. It's gonna take like forever. So I think I'm gonna keep this tier one and so we can make things. Oh, not again. Where are you? Whoops, he blowed up something. And I'm stuck. Yes, I know that the drill ship is under attack. Ah, look, they actually opened a way in for me. Very good. So, yeah, you have finished. It's good. I'm gonna go like through a ton of these. And we don't have any more copper plates. You go make those. Yeah, they are definitely swarming now, so. Yep. Yeah. Better take care of yourself. What was it? We needed this one. And we're gonna need those. And possibly because I am such a bad shot and lazy person, so I don't want to run around the ship all the time. We're gonna do this. Let's hold that one so we don't have to go back to the storage. It uh, doesn't matter actually because uh, we have the other parts in there as well. So this, this and this. Yeah, that's a good advice. I should put down the uh, periscope downstairs so that I can actually use it quicker. Because I am also very bad at running at stairs, so it's probably gonna take me longer to go up the stairs than to go out and find them. <laughs> yeah, this is how good I am. And why did we go back to the front end of the ship? Because what? Upgrade basic refinery. Didn't I take the production module? Tier 2. Hmm, didn't I produce one? We can put you in here at least. Or did I, of course, make the wrong thing? I think we made this one. Uh, 
Perhaps I actually cancelled it somehow. And we have 18 shots, that's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can we... We have four, we have some. Let's go up here. Uh, we need a couple of tubes. Let's just make a lot of these because I'm gonna need them. Yes, uh, all items completed. So if I can understand the tips that I have got here, that having more production will increase the speed and we also be able to make more things at the same time, that is always good. So if you're playing the game for the first time, think about that, because production time can be very long. And if you want to make a speed run, yeah, you're probably gonna need that. Man, that is slow. But here is something that I uh, lost track of talking. So the core slots, the energy balance and hull integrity. And the core slot is basically how much we can fit into our, our drill ship and have open at the same time. The energy, yeah, that kind of speaks for itself. How much energy that we have. And if we don't have enough, then we have to open the uh, power production modules to make sure that we are making more and here we can see the balance how much we are using how much we are gaining and hull integrity yeah that is probably how good the ship is so we have some damage being done to the ship so if we place that one there we should be in 18 of 18 again yeah very good So now, did we make the right thing? Can we go back here? Yes. So now we have a tier 2 production that costs 2 spots, but now we can make things a lot faster. And let's repair this wall. Uh, no, we don't have any more. And then it's back to talk to the captain. And the drill to tier 2. So this is the research part. So now we're gonna be able to need to make the drill. Plant production, refinery, basic, basic research. Actually, this one we can just produce over here. Upgrade drill two. So we need a production tier two that we have. And again, this is gonna take time. What are we making? Yeah, uh, we don't need the refinery to be open. The research, we don't need to be open. Because we don't have anything. And we are, we are at point 6. If you look at the map, we are here. We can go out and see if we can find these uh, production and research. And I don't like that close tab hides from me and that should be over here yeah and let's pick up the shotgun we can go in the wrong way the uh, correct way not the wrong way and here we have more cogs This one is actually really fast to do. Hey, they didn't see me. Nice. Oh, now someone saw me.
Oh, I'm actually being attacked by two of them. No, we died again. But I think it's time to put the cut in this video anyway. It's been a long day for me. And I mean, it's uh, half 22 25 here where I live. Uh, it's time to go to bed. Uh, the point of this stream was not to do a speed run or actually finish the game, even if it would have been nice. It was more to show it off to see if you can, if you like the game. Because if you did, you should go to Steam. There is also a link in the description of this, the, this stream and video. And add this game to your watch list because. As I said, it's a pre-release version, uh, the developers are still working very much on this game and it's a, they are very good developers, they are fun to work with, they are easy, also easy to work with and they have a great community backing them up with, as you have seen here in the comments, there are a lot of good fun players, nice players that are playing the game, that are willing to give advice and also sharing their knowledge to the developers and the developers are listening to them. So I think this game has a really really good potential of being something really good. So you should go and check it out and you can also look for more videos on YouTube and I'm gonna do more streams uh, with this uh, later this week, I think. So, uh, but until then, I am Nui Sweet saying thank you for watching. It has been a pleasure to having you here that was on um, watching the stream and have a nice day.